Wednesday morning was soured by the untimely demise of Abraham Charles Rose, a 63-year-old male from Talvin Babano, announced as the island's latest homicide. Police attached to the Babano police station responded to the crime at approximately 5.45 a.m., where Charles Rose was discovered unresponsive with a visible laceration to his head alongside a severed leg. In the wake of this devastation, residents from the community are left grappling with this unforeseen reality. Magdalena Toussaint, neighbor and sister to the victim, retells her turbulent relationship with Abraham as he suffered from a severe drug addiction. My brother was not a bad person, but the thing is, um, I didn't like his lifestyle. And we've been talking to him for the longest while to change his ways, his character, but he didn't listen. He, he doesn't listen. If he needs something, he will come home. I'll give it to him. And then sometimes for a week, I haven't seen him. We have not seen him. But whenever I go by my sister, I will ask him, ask, sorry, I will ask her when last she saw him. Saw him. But normally he comes here when he need something. Thing. But, um, he was not a bad person. Tuse expressed her perspective when confronted with the reality of the homicide on Wednesday morning. A friend of us came here and he asked my husband for me. And he told my husband to tell me to go and check on him because they saw him on the ground. So go and check to see if he's a sickness that took take him and to take him to the hospital. So we went, when I went there, I, before I left, I called my son and I called my sister, and we went there, when we went there. When I saw him, I said, Kobo died. But I didn't go too close to him. So when my son came, came, he went closer to him, and he told me, Mommy, but they chopped off his leg. They chopped off his leg, and he have a hole behind his head. They knocked him with a, 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 a piece of block, block, and then I just went back home. But I have no idea, I can't pinpoint on no one to say I know he was in trouble with that person or that person. Morrison Lucien, a resident who lived relatively close to the scene of the crime, underscored Abraham's potential before the addiction. That man was doing so good, that man can build a wall, do a thing. That man, after that, they take him, they bring to a um, station, they mean all different country. That man can well un under the sea. That man was good. Every time that man come, he always give me a... <laughs> every time that man, he always come give me a 20 US. Every time I come, he always give me a 20 US too, you know? And then the man tell me when he was in Stacia, the man used to go to St. Martin, hire a um, charter a plane by cocaine. You know? And then we always went and then I tell him, why do that? Although, somebody went, this week my brother tell him, why, what happened to you? You are grandfather in that. The sudden death of Abraham Charles Rose has left both neighbors and relatives mournful as they reflect on the checkered history of a talented individual who, despite his drug addiction, is fondly remembered within the community. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.